freestyle motocross. I, I don't see any limits to it. Kids are just innovating new tricks. I just like flying through the sky. It's, it's a good feeling. No one's ever going to get sick of seeing a no-handed lander or a, or a Superman. The reason I jump is because I'm an adrenaline junkie. <laughs> Boys, huh? Yeah, do my best out there.
it looks to me like you're right back on track. Yeah, uh, I've been training the last couple weeks. I'm healing up with the hurt right ankle, but I'm doing the best I can, I'm taping it up and having fun. How's your back doing? Good. No more back problems, just uh, right ankle and that's about it. That was a great run. We'll see what you're going to do. Bob, there are a lot of posers out there and pretty much all the posers just tend to go on all the same lines and do their gay little tricks like little little saran wraps and heel clickers. You know, that's all baby shit. I'm just, you know, I'm just out to take it to a new level and you know pretty much I'm ready to burn every bridge in front of me. Definitely pretty excited about the money I made. It's a lot better than chasing the dream, trying to race Supercross like I've been in the past, and finally found my niche. Yesterday I was over drumming some stuff, you were calling me Flatland. <laughs> so I had to fix that today. I've tried wakeboarding, I've tried skateboarding, I've tried 
all the other sports and nothing compares to riding, nothing goes as big, nothing as sick. Travis Pastrana is 14 years old, is now in first, and myself, Mike Jones, is in second, right on his butt. Actually, I've been racing for 16 years, so I've been racing longer than he is old, and I'm the old guy in 32. Mike Jones put in an excellent run, throwing some great whips in out there, and um, he was also very creative on the track, so I think um, it's going to be a battle between the young and the old, and probably a couple other guys are going to be spoiled. Hey.
like doing the big, real big jumps, you know. The longer you're in the air, the more fun it is. I'd, I'd rather fly through the air on a huge fifth gear tape jump and go 200 feet than, than jump some, you know, 80 foot jump and try to do these little kid tricks. This is sketchy. Wind's blowing, big jump. I don't need to go out and try to, try to kill myself doing all these crazy little tricks to try to make a name for myself. I've already made the name as going big. In one way or another, I'll be a part of this contest, just doing some kind of big jump before or you know after or during the event. That was good. good take, take us through the, the jump a little bit on, on what you're feeling and. Uh, well, and I mean, uh, at, at first when you're doing a new gap, I mean, you're always like wondering if you, you know, what speed to hit it at because nobody's ever done it. You were worried about those bud girls on the roof, huh? No, I was trying to check them when I was jumping. I'm actually. <laughs> <laughs> Tough way to make a living. I think it's sweet. Arizona for another freestyle motocross event. It's gonna be a good one. The stands are packed, night's beautiful, the riders are charged up. We're gonna see a lot of new tricks here tonight. Welcome everybody to the Free Air Festival. My name's Robbie Floyd. So what do you have to do to win this thing tonight? I'm probably gonna just, as soon as the camera's off, Jump, sink, take them out, off off the course, tie them up somewhere out back. Probably snap kick Kerry Hart in the face. Maybe dojo kick Metzger in between the legs. And they, maybe I'll win. <laughs> I think we're about to see some Look of those Jackie Chan. Uh-oh, one more try. One more try. I think he just busted something there. Here we go. <laughs> I can see it. Oh, oh. Hey, there he goes. <laughs> he makes it look way too easy. Right now. <laughs> With the dead time. Whoa. Oh. Oh, 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 oh,
built a 130 foot jump and uh, this kid's claiming he's gonna do it right now. Oh, watch this. Look how pumped these guys are. Let's go to the main event. Oh, do I have any left? What do you think about the track? I noticed that it's a lot larger than the one in Tacoma. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. There's a lot more opportunities on this track. But yet, it's really, really slick. It's got pebbles all around it. It's just like riding on marbles. People were asking me why I landed with no hands and how do you do it. I said, I turn my brain off and go for it because if you think about what can happen when you crash, you're never going to do it. the name Flying Hawaiian um, from a lady at a local track and she was just a, uh, a really uh, a loud woman. <laughs> One night at the races at a local racetrack she just started screaming, Flying Hawaiian, hey Flying Hawaiian, you know? And uh, ever since uh, that it's just it's stuck. <laughs>
for all you guys that are super drunk up there in the stands right now. Basically, I just go off the top of my head and try to do the sickest tricks I can. I ain't gonna pull no pussy hill clickers or a can can, so I just go big on the big tricks. That's how it is. I'm here for my family, my friends, everyone in the crowd. That's what I'm here for. To pump it up! Yeah, Tacoma was a little tight. Um, I decided here, my friends and family are here, and I was, it was all out. That's what I was doing, going big for everyone. I'm pumped! Congratulations to Mike Metzger, let's give it up. Big thanks, big thanks for everyone coming out, because we're all bad! Anyway, a couple weekends ago, um, kind of came up short on jump and a half a suit. I went outside of the stadium, and um, I came through pretty much fourth gear capped on a 125. It has more gears, but I thought that was going to be enough. And I was coming at it, and actually I let off the gas right before I took off, which was pretty stupid. But I thought I had the right speed, and I don't know, it was just kind of human error. And right when I got to the takeoff, I realized that it isn't going to work. And then I, when I hit, I just bounced, and my foot, actually my boot, got caught on the handlebar. Um, and I just laying there unconscious um, with my foot stuck up in the air, so it was a little funny. but. 
just mental error. Just I don't know exactly what happened. I was unconscious on impact. Don't remember that whole day, but I, I remember I remember coming up. I remember doing a knack knack previously to that. And it was pretty good, and I remember coming up to the jump, and that's about it. I mean, I don't get a whole lot of time to relax except when I'm in the hospital chilling out with broken bones. It's just basically broken bones, broke my wrist, ankles, fingers. Uh, I have broken my leg twice. Uh, my tibia and fibula, I had to have metal rod for my knee to ankle, two screws. I've had five knee operations, punctured lung, 15 broken bones, I'm knocked unconscious like five or six times. Broke both of my femurs in six places, my shin, my wrist, almost bled to death. It was pretty sloppy. <laughs> broken my ankle, two pins, broke my arm, dislocated my arm from shoulder, had to have two pins. Broke my heel, had to have a pin. Check it out. <laughs> That's it. My back's still numb to this day. I think I got like a 695 burn on my on my back. I get. I've eaten my lip a bunch of times. You know, put my teeth through my lip and broke my nose and stuff like that, hitting the bars. Went through one year where I had over 10 concussions. So <laughs> next thing you know, I wake up and I'm strapped to the to the board and everybody's just like right in my face. Uh, I don't really know what I did. I woke up the next day in the hospital. I broke my jaw, I knocked out five teeth, and ruptured a blood vessel in my brain. I don't know. I've had so many concussions, I think, that I've gone retarded, so. <laughs> I think probably the worst one is when you go to the hospital being knocked unconscious and they bring you back to the track in the little dunny outfit where you're in the little green outfit and they took pictures and hung it up with science the next day. And basically made a fool of me. <laughs> it just doesn't phase me. I've been through so many injuries and it's like what do you expect though, you know, when you jump a dirt bike you're gonna get hurt. So if I get hurt, I get hurt. That's just part of life. People get hurt walking across the street, stub their toe, you know. That's just part of riding. As long as as long as I can walk, I'll be riding dirt bikes. I just try to mellow out and you know I just tell myself, hey, you know, I want to walk away from this event, you know what I mean? Because there's going to be another one, you know? And, and uh, my, my main thing is just be healthy. My truck. <laughs> well, when you're riding a track, you just have to relax and just and ride your best and smooth and you know hit all the jumps and try to try to get your timing and everything and you know it's more more of a golfing game but when you're stepping up to huck a huge gap or something then it's just you just need to make the commitment and, and do it you know just twist the throttle and commit and go for it. The more seconds you can count in the air the more fun it is. I think it was dynamite, man. That guy is just totally awesome. How's our guy? He pulled it off not once, but twice. He got to be about the sickest guy I've seen ever. Went well. Basic. Probably could have kicked the ramp back a few more feet, actually.
so good to do this good in front of my hometown. I can't even explain it. I mean, it's the best I've done all year, and I think I just feel so at home in front of everybody. That's why I'm doing so good.
I just have fun and, you know, don't put too much pressure and just go out and ride loose. And... promoter in Italy he just he said I was crazy and, and uh, his word was Mad Mike so it just stuck I mean I'll do anything whatever it takes to win I'll do and um, I would do it even if, even if I knew I was going to crash or taking a big chance of crashing I'd say hey the crowd wants it I'm going to give it to them. My strategy is pretty much just put a smile on and go hit every line, get the crowd pumped. You know, I think it's going to keep getting crazier and crazier. No, I think it's eventually going to evolve to like a backflip or maybe a barrel roll. Man, if you, if you halfway flip, we're talking land on your head with a big bike on top of you. Who knows? 
<laughs> Who knows? Maybe some sick kid's gonna just surprise everyone. The limit is, is when it cracks. <laughs> Own the music the top writers jump to. The Free Air Festival soundtrack featuring the Mighty Mighty Boston's, The Suicide Machine, Monster Magnet, Limp Biscuit, Zeke. To order, send check or money order for $14.95 plus $3.95 shipping and handling to Free Air Festival soundtrack. 505 South Beverly Drive, Suite 1200, Beverly Hills, California, 90212. Or call 1-800-445-6622. Visa MasterCard Discovery accepted. California residents add 8.25% sales tax. They're going quick. Order yours now. <laughs> 